Hey guys, it's Mac and in this video, we will create this minimal vector poster design using basic tools of Adobe Illustrator. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a standard artboard that I'll be working on. If you want to create a same document, simply open a new document from the file menu and set the size to A3. Make sure that the orientation is portrait and also set the color mode to RGB. So once everything's set, simply hit OK and you will get a standard artboard like this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a background layer for our poster design. So with the rectangle tool selected, I'm going to create a nice rectangle shape equal to my artboard size. Once the rectangle is created, change its color to pure black from the color picker. Now I'm going to add a city image for my design, which is going to be this one. You can download and use any other image from stock website. So now I'm going to scale it up quite a bit, just to ensure that a suitable portion of the image is covered inside my artboard. You can also take your time to scale the image and also adjust the position according to your preference. Now right-click on the image and send it to back. Now select this black rectangle shape and decrease its opacity to around 50%. So now the background portion of our poster design is complete. Now select the rectangle tool once more and create another rectangle slightly smaller than the artboard size. Now change its color to pure white from the color picker and also align this rectangle to the center of the artboard. Now I'm going to import this nice woman face silhouette into my design which I've downloaded from stock website. You can download a similar silhouette from any free stock website and then drag it on top of your design. Place the silhouette on the right side of your artboard and then scale it properly to cover the entire height of the white rectangle. Now move the silhouette and adjust its position. So once the adjustment is done, select the silhouette and the white rectangle and open the Pathfinder panel, which you can simply find in the Windows menu and Pathfinder right here. Once the panel is opened, click here to minus front from the selected paths. So now you have a nice woman face cut out on top of your background layer. Now select this white cutout shape and set the opacity to around 90% so that it blends just a little bit with the background. Now we can start adding our text for the poster. Zoom in and with the type tool selected, write your main headline by using a decent sans serif typeface. Place the headline on the left side and scale it up quite a bit. You might notice some disorientation with the letting of the headline while increasing the size. In order to solve this, simply go to the characters panel and adjust the letting value according to your preferred typeface. Now place the heading on the left side and keep adjusting the size until a desired output is obtained. Slightly move the heading towards the bottom. Now zoom in on the bottom corner of your poster design and once more with the type tool, write a secondary text just below the main headline. However, you can change the typeface to something different like Manrope or Roboto just to ensure that it looks different and easily readable. Now decrease its size quite a bit and place it below the headline. Select both these texts and adjust the alignment to the left. You can further adjust the size if needed. And then from the color picker, change the color of this secondary text to something gray because of the hierarchy. Now select both these texts and adjust their position. You can also make some changes to the font size of your headline if needed. Now zoom out to see if things are in line and then adjust the position of the secondary text. Now create a copy from the main headline text and write the remaining text like this. Decrease the size quite a bit to make it small and then complete the text by adding some more random names to the list. Adjust the font size of this text and then place it below the secondary text like this. Now create a copy of the secondary text and write some street address or any important information. Now if you feel that the secondary text is too light, open the color picker and apply a slightly dark gray, and now the text is properly readable. Now zoom out and select all the text, and then move it closer to the bottom edge of the artboard. Now for the top portion of the poster design, create a copy of this text, and write the name of your organization. Place this heading at the top left corner, and adjust the size so that it's not too large. Now from the Characters panel, 
Set the tracking to a larger value to give this heading a nice, elegant look. Now zoom in and with the rectangle tool selected, hold down the shift key and create a perfect square just below the heading. Now click here to swap the fill with stroke and change the stroke color to pure black like the rest of the design and also increase the stroke value to 2. Now add some information inside this box by creating a copy of this heading. Change the paragraph alignment to center and then write the date for the concerned event. Now create another copy from this text and write the remaining information. Increase the font size of this text to a larger value and then take your time to adjust the alignment of these texts. Now select the text and align it according to the small box. So once the adjustment is done, zoom out to see the full canvas and you can see that the design is finally complete. Now select the black rectangle from the background layer and create a copy for the clipping mask. Now right-click on this copy of the black rectangle and bring it to front. Now make sure to select everything on the artboard. Then right-click and make a clipping mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can create a minimal vector poster design using basic tools in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more similar content, and I'll see you in the next one.